Measuring the girth of a trunk sounds simple, but trees come in all shapes and sizes, sometimes making recording a challenge. Follow our guide to make the process as simple and accurate as possible. To get started, you'll need to source a flexible surveyor's tape at least 10 meters long with a grip at the end from a DIY store or online. The general rule is to record the tree's girth at its narrowest point, either at or below 1.5 meters height from ground level. However, lower branches, burrs and trunk splits can all give an incorrect girth measurement. So if necessary, avoid these by measuring below the 1.5 meter mark. As well as recording the trunk's girth, make sure you also record the height at which you measured the girth. You need to record the height measurement from ground level. If your tree is on a slope, take the measurement from the upper side of the slope and keep your tape measure as level and straight as possible. Maiden trees with a single stem are usually simplest to record. Pollards are normally single stemmed, but have been deliberately cut above head height, giving them a distinctive multi-branch look. Pollarding is an ancient form of tree management, so we particularly want to record pollards on historic sites. Natural pollards can be created too, for example as a result of major damage. Record them in the same way as maidens, at 1.5 meter height from the ground. Coppice trees have also been deliberately cut, but at a low level, resulting in several stems growing from the main coppice stool. The girth on these trees should be measured around the coppice stool itself rather than the stems, which will be at a much lower height around 0.3 to 0.5 meters from the ground. Multi-stem trees, which arise from two or more trees intertwining or a single tree dividing, can be the most complex to record. But follow our checklist to make things easier. If the tree forks at or below 1.5 meters, then record the narrowest girth below the fork. If it forks above 1.5 meters, Record in the same way as a maiden or pollard. If the fork is low and the stems originate from the same tree, record the girth near the ground, as you would for a coppice. If you are still unsure, submit plenty of images of the tree and outline how you measured its girth in the comments field of your record. For extra guidance on recording tree form and girth, please visit our How to Record section on the Ancient Tree Inventory website.